I'm Sonia Brotherton from Equivolve Coaching. In an earlier video, I showed you how to make a fantastic shavings bed. Dante spent the night in here last night, so today I'm going to show you how to muck it out. Now firstly, you may notice I have a wheelbarrow in the stable. Wheelbarrows and horses do not mix. So if you've got no choice but to muck out with your horse in the stable, tie your horse up, wheelbarrow outside, arms nowhere near the horse's legs, and better still, use a skiff instead. Please do not ever have a wheelbarrow in with your horse. Shaving beds should take something between five minutes and 15 minutes, depending on how dirty your horse is. If you've got a really nice clean horse, who does it all in nice neat piles, then it's gonna take you five minutes to do a shaving bed. If you've got a really dirty horse that stirs it in everywhere and does endless wheeze all under the banks, then it's gonna take you more like 15 minutes. That's what you're aiming for if you're working in the industry. Obviously, if you've got your own horse and you've got all day to do it, then you can faff around like I did when I was making the fantastic shaving bed. Anyway, I'm running a livery yard, I can't afford to take that long, so we'll be aiming for about 10 minutes to do this box today. First thing we have to do is take out the poos. Being a fresh bed, it's going to be a little bit trickier because they will hide themselves deep into the nice fresh shavings. We don't want to waste any shavings, they cost a lot of money. So we shake off any fresh shavings and just chuck the poo away. underneath the poos, not digging in too deep, you'll lift just the poos with minimal amount of shavings to shake off. Now I know there's still some poos in this bank, so I'm going to chuck the bank up and let the poos drop down to the bottom. Chuck it in the water drinker. Got a buried one here. So scrape the shavings away. So you can reveal it to get to it. will take them to the bottom of the bank and then you can go along pick up what's dropped down now we get to the point that you don't want to do the fork anymore Nothing stopping you with a pair of gloves on and picking it up by hand. Now we're going to look for the wee. I think I can see a shady dark area here. So I'm going to scrape my clean shavings off. Big wet patch. And I think we've gone 
under the bank as well. And you take the bank down, if there's a wee under it, take the bank out, remove the wee and then put the bank back. Some people like to put the entire bed up into one corner or on one side, sweep the floor and then relay the bed in the afternoon. That's another alternative way of doing it. So now we have the wet patch revealed. We can get rid of that. efficient working time. None of the faffing and the joking around with spirit levels from yesterday. It is just lay the bed, get the job done. So same as yesterday, I fork it up from the base so that it's an even width. fresh clean water and he's not pooed in it does taste really bad for pooing in his water so yeah just make sure it's clean and it's working it's filling properly so there we go one completed shavings bed all mucked out <laughs> 